Welcome to the continuing story of Tony Two Tanks. Uh, to viewers that have seen this before, this is the continuation of Tony Still Hasn't Paid. Of course, everything always works out for Carl, so ultimately at the end we did get paid. To the people that haven't seen this before, just go back and uh, search Tony Still Hasn't Paid and you can watch the series from the start. Okay? Thanks. Bye. Changes. Yeah, he finally gave yeah, me some checks. Post dated a month and a month and a month. First one we took to the bank and the bank lost it. And then they said they had some temporary workers and they didn't know who lost it and Audrey didn't remember who she gave it to. But there was no money in the bank anyhow. My neck's wrinkled. Hello? Hello, Kim? Hi, Carl. Hi. Okay, so I'm at the bank. And there's two things. One, there's no money in the account. Okay. And the second, uh, he wrote 2002 and then he changed it to 2012. Uh, they won't take the check for that either. But she said, yeah, there's no money in the account, so there's no point. So I need certified checks now. Like, I can't keep doing <laughs> Never that. did get certified checks. Okay, thanks. So we won't bother with the third check until whatever. No, I will try to get a hold of them now, and then I'll call you back with whatever response you give me. Yeah, well, I'm not happy. Yeah, a little frustrating. I, I drove all the way up to his check. I need my money. It's been four months. <laughs> it was only four months at that point. Yeah, I know. I really appreciate your help. and I just wish you would have told me that he was like this before I started. I would have just said no. I've never come across him having this issue before. Yeah, well... I've got uh, how many phone calls I've had to make now. Like, he's just seen. Don't forget, before you moved the tank, I hadn't worked for, for that long, and I didn't have anything. I just still don't have anything to do with this accounting, so I wouldn't have had any clue. Yeah. Well, oh, she he, knows about he's it now. trying to torture me or something, hoping I'll give up. Like, he's had me go downtown to meet him at a place he didn't go to. They've never even heard of him. He had me go down to, um, oh, it's at the bottom of Blue Jay's Way beside Sky Dome. He said he was going to do a job there, and I was supposed to run down there on Friday afternoon and meet him there. There's only three buildings on the whole street, none of which have ever heard of him. And uh, I don't know why he had me do that. I spent three hours out of my life trying to get downtown to Blue Jay's uh, at, least it was warm out. Area at 5 o'clock on a Friday. Yeah. And then all these phone calls, like after phone calls, like that's not how I do business. I want to just get paid and move on. Yeah. You know, I gave him a great rate. I didn't charge him extra for an overnight move. So, we're not impressed with him. Still not. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate your help. So now we make him pay all the way up front. No ifs, no ands, no discounts. Yeah, well, I guess that this is not personal. I don't think you do. I couldn't see him doing it on purpose myself, knowing him. And I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's an issue that he's not telling anybody. Yeah, well, I assume he's got some financial difficulty because uh, he was trying to get see if I knew somebody who could borrow money from quick. Well, I know he had a problem with one of our subcontractors. Yeah. Uh, and, I know and yet he tells me he knows people who loan money, and he has people that go and beat yeah. people up if they don't pay that money back, yeah, he looking, but he didn't want to ask well, them for money because then he'd lose faith. When he was first moved there, he, he was desperate for money, and uh, like one of my friends, he borrowed, uh, loaned money out, and uh, he was talking about that even. But he didn't have good enough collateral that the customer would uh, go for it. <laughs> customer wanted gold, bullion, house, title. Yeah, I, 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 I,
stuff like that. You know, you give a guy thirty, forty thousand dollars, you want some collateral so that if he doesn't pay you. Yeah. Well, Tony tells me none of his customers pay him, but these are all big customers. Big customers pay their bills on time all the time. I've never had a big customer not pay. We have some clients, no matter whether we say pay upon receipt, they'll pay us anywhere between 60 and 90 days. Yeah, but they'll pay it 90 days. They don't leave it for six months. Uh, he tells me that uh, some of these people don't pay at all. Like, they just keep holding back, holding back. Well, they're happy with the work, they always pay. The problem with our line of work is the people we deal with to schedule the work aren't the people that pay us. Yeah. Because we work in condominiums, and in condominiums you have seven people that make the decisions for the building. So if one of those people isn't happy with one little thing that you've done, they'll hold up the invoice until something's corrected or it's Condo boards. Yeah, but like my checks aren't that big. Like a thousand dollars for a company his size should be nothing at all. No, I don't. I like I said, I don't know what's going on. I try not to get involved in the finances. You know what? She actually ended up quitting. It was after I got paid, though. Okay, well, tell them I need certified checks, uh, and I need them sooner rather than later. Uh, I've got a customer that I can talk to. Uh, none of them went through, and, like, we got the third check that's now available to be put in, but the lady told me there's no money in there, so all it's going to do is it's going to incur all the extra charges for NSF. So... Did one check go through, though? No, they lost it at the bank. Oh, that's the one they lost. Okay. Yeah, the first one they lost, the second one... Toronto Dominion Bank loses uh, checks when you really need the money. Uh, Probably wasn't any money there anyhow. And then the third check is perfectly fine, but if we put it in, it's just going to bounce, and it's going to come back, and we're going to have all the extra charges. Okay. So, is it three grand? It's 3000 and a hundred and something. I got it in my pocket thing, man. I just want to be able to put it in the email. Basically, uh, I, I actually gave him a bit of a discount. I put him down to $2,780 plus uh, tax. 13% uh, tax. It was actually $2,796 plus tax, but uh, I gave him a bit of a deal. So. $16. $2,780 plus 13% uh, sales tax. Uh, right. I'll put that in the email and I'll send it off to right now. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay, so uh, there we are right now. We got further dealings with Tony. All right. Still got hope, though. Okay. <laughs>